hit record. So good morning, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, good night for those who are over in Australia. Um, hope you had a fantastic weekend. I know I did. I had a friend come visit from, I actually was an old housemate. I lived with him twice and he's now moved to Belgium and he came for the weekend. So I had an absolutely incredible weekend. I'm very grateful for friends, old friends, new friends, long-term friends. Uh, very grateful for the opportunities to, you know, be able to have friends that I grew, grew up with, you know, 10 years ago, just visit, even though I'm living on the other side of the world. Um, I'm very grateful to be able to go out and walk around the town and have a beautiful night out in the city, have nice food, um, the luxuries of, you know, having a drink with friends, X, Y, Z. The, uh, I'm grateful for my body for putting up with the what I put it through and getting me through Sunday where I was feeling a little bit rough. You know, I'm very grateful for the um, the places we live and the opportunities we have. So feel free to chuck your gratitude in this morning. Share with us anything that was amazing on your weekends. Like I said, for me, getting to hang out with a, a close friend. Uh, it's been a while as a traveler, you don't get that as often. So it's, uh, it was very, very nice. And I was got to meet his partner for the first time. And um, she was lovely. So it was a really good weekend. And uh, yeah, I'm very grateful for th those opportunities. So again, share with us your gratitude or anything that major happened on the weekend. Um, today, this week more so, we're going to be focusing on your why. Um, really knowing and understanding your why and diving a little bit deeper and figuring out why our whys are important and why it's good to know them and uh, how to figure it out, whether you feel that you have got an understanding or not, or you feel like you've got it at a base level, maybe we'll actually help this week to dive a bit deeper and really understand your true why rather than, let's say, your your cover why, shall we say, what shall we call it? Um, because I think there is a difference. And as you go through time and as you change and as you understand yourself more, you'll actually dig deeper and dive a little bit more into what drives you, what's your passion and um, sort of some of your beliefs. And I think that is where we'll really start to find you, you, the true whys that we have. So I do have a couple of people who have messaged me um, in regards to being open to sharing and doing an exercise with us to try and find their wine dive a little bit deeper but if there's anyone else that is also interested please send me a message um either in the group chat or privately and uh, we'll look at on wednesday trying to go through some of those exercises a little bit deeper and uh, if we have too many people or run out of time we can continue on friday as well so in the chat we have grateful for my daughter give me the most beautiful journal for trading with a beautiful octopus on it love it that's awesome trading Journal trading, trading journals are super important. I am currently writing a emotional journaling guide and how best to use it. Um, so it's going to be a bit of a book and a, a journal. Um, and I highly recommend that anyone who doesn't have one um, gets one and starts using it and using it properly because it, it's been one of the biggest shifts in my trading journey. So I'll be releasing that hopefully soon. Um, but I love that you have one now and that you're implementing it and that your lovely daughter got it for you. That's great. I'm grateful for the beautiful sun and blue sky. Love it. We had this weekend. Grateful for the many blessings I have in my life. Yeah, we had really good weather as well. Grateful for safety and security in my home. Nice. Yeah, it's always good to have a safe place to call home. Uh, when I lived in a bus some of those days, we didn't quite have that safety. And it is nice when you, when you have that security. I'm grateful to have spent the weekend enjoying the sunny days with my husband and dog. Oh, and I miss having a dog. One of the, I'm a massive dog person, but when I went traveling, you know, it's one of those things that you can't really travel with. I'm grateful for a great weekend and the ability to fill up my heart with my grandkids, hugs, love it. Incredible. I'm grateful for a beautiful day outdoors with my family and friends yesterday. It looks, seems like a lot of people got out and about, which is lovely because the weather was beautiful. Well, it was over here anyway. It still is actually. Today's nice and sunny. Right. So today, we are going to talk about our whys and what I'm going to do. So anyone listening to the podcast, I apologize. I'll try and share what I'm going to be having on screen, but I will be sharing a spreadsheet um, that 
Uh, sorry, bear with me one second. I'm just trying to find it here. I had it up before, but it's it's um it's gone. Uh, I had a presentation about mindset for one of the retreats that we did. And um, in that, one of the key aspects is knowing your why. So I'm going to just bring that back up so we can go through it a little bit. If I can actually get it. My computer is just doing, uh, going a little bit slow. Come on. Mm -hmm. Jake, are you looking for the Y link? The which, sorry? Uh, so when you talked about that, uh, several, seven levels deep, is that what you're looking for? I'm not looking for that right now. I'm looking for my presentation, but okay. I will be sharing that as well. So if you want to drop, if you have that and would like to drop it in the chat, that would be great because that is actually one of the exercises that we'll be going through um, together. So... Yeah, I'm just going to share my screen now. Okay, thank you very much, Mike. I see Mike dropped that in the chat. Seven levels deep. Yep. So let's, we can open that one up as well. We have some more gratitude here. Grateful for all the good food me and my family shared through the weekend. Yummy homemade soup and more grateful for some needed rest and relaxation yum yeah we had a great feed this weekend actually i did a roast duck it was beautiful so this is actually quite a good um, baseline for people who want to do this take five to ten minutes to reflect and answer seven questions so you kind of go through this step by step and this is the, pretty much what we'll be doing but in person and i find that if you have someone you can do it with um, you can actually get an understanding and sort of read a little bit deeper into what the sort of undertone of the answers and responses are um, and I find that doing this on your own is great but if you can do it with a partner especially someone who knows the exercise or someone who knows you um, sometimes it works really well sometimes it's, it's a bit difficult but it, it really helps to sort of dig deeper and really kind of like I said listen to the undertones of what the answers are and find out really what is is the main main why so that's what we're going to try and do today with those people who have volunteered and anyone else who is willing to um, jump on board with that and wants the opportunity to do it live one-on-one -on -one with me we can um try and get into the answers a little bit more in depth and figure out what your actual why is but what i'm looking for today and for anyone who's listening on the podcast this is actually a shared screen of a presentation i did for our retreats as i was saying before and um, one of the key aspects is knowing your why and so why is knowing your why important well no matter what you're doing in life um, whether it's business, whether it's running a marathon, whether it's trading, um, you know, it's really, really important to understand why you're doing something. And the first exercise or thing that I want to bring your attention to is what's called the golden circle. And I originally found this by uh, someone called Simon Sinek, and I've spoke about him a lot. He's got some really, really good mindset stuff. And, um, basically the golden circle is, uh, three circles, almost like a bullseye with the outer ring being what? And uh, if you ask anyone who is doing anything, they can pretty much tell you exactly what they're doing. You know, you see someone jogging, what are you doing? You can, they can answer that question. Um, you see someone running a business at home, what are you doing? They'll probably explain to you what their business is about. Right? Most people, pretty much everyone knows the what of what their organization does or what they're trying to achieve. Then you ask how they're doing it. Um, lots of people in their jobs will can give you a brief explanation of how they do their job or how their business is growing. And some people have a game plan to sort of get to their dreams and goals. Like we were talking about the dream acronym. That would be a little bit more of a how to achieve the what it is. And if you've done any, um, I want to say like, what's it called? Dream boards or anything like that. That's your what. And then the how is following the acronym dream to get to how you're going to achieve that. Um, again, you ask anyone how they're going to do the what they probably have a base level of understanding of that and some people have a bit more in depth but when you start to go deeper into the why most people aren't able to tell you why if you have a regular job like 
you know, when I was doing engineering, for example, I'd be like, oh, what do you do? Okay, mechatronic engineering. Oh, how do you do that? Oh, well, we, we uh, help the machines um, th through some automation to make sure there's no collisions on the mines. Okay, why? Um, because that's what my job is, because that's what I was asked to do. You know, why, why did you choose that? Some people might be like, I was obsessed with machineries and wanting to be on the mines and love big machines, and that's why I do it, and that's great. You know, but for the majority of people that I worked with, it would be like, what do you mean, why, why do I do it? It's Because that's, that's what I'm paid to do. You know, there's no real in-depth, there's no deep passion, shall we say. And when that's the case, you'll find that someone gets 10 years down the road and goes, why am I doing this? This is so boring. I'm just doing it because this is the money I've been given. And, you know, sometimes they have other reasons. But for me, my why was a bit more clear. And so I only lasted six months before realizing that this was not what I wanted to do. And that's why I changed. Now, this is the same for anything. You know, why, do, why does someone start a business? And I often say to people, whenever you're going to do something like start a business or, um, you know, do something like trading, like you got to figure out why first. And if the key concept here is most people start on the outside and work their way inwards. Um, but what we want to try and do is reverse that and start on the inside and figure out why you want to do something like, what is your real passion? Like, I want to help people maybe, or I want to travel or whatever it is to you, you know. Oh, I want to be able to spend all the time with my grandkids, giving them hugs, you know? Okay, cool. That's, that's our why. Like let's go with you, Mike, just briefly from your gratitude, you know, so grateful for getting to hug my grandkids, right? That's your why. So how can we make that happen more often? Like how can we give you more time so that you can get more, more, more hugs from your grandkids, right? And then how can we do that? Well, we can find something that allows you to work from home. We can find something that allows you to spend a couple of hours working, which can substitute your regular wage, right? What's that? Or trading, does. trading will do that. Trading, trading is something that we can um, accomplish to a certain level of getting you to substitute your, your hourly wage um, in just a couple of hours. And why? So you can have more hugs from your grandkids, right? So this sort of concept, if you start from the inside out, then when you have a hard day and you're on the charge, you're like, what am I, damn it, like, this is so hard. Why am I doing this? Oh, that's right. For those extra cuddles, for those extra hugs for my grandkids. So you jump back on, you go straight back at it and you fire up again because you realize that the reason you're doing this is for those extra hugs. And I'm using you as an example, Mike, because I think it's beautiful that you had the opportunity and the gratitude for having that uh, this weekend. I love it. It was a wonderful weekend. I love it. I love it. So does that make sense to people why it's kind of important, right, to understand Stand your why um, first. So rather than doing the traditional what, how, why, we want to try and reverse that and figure out our why first. And from doing so, we really end up going into a, a direction that we find our passion in and that we can continue pushing forward with because we know when we fail or when we struggle or when things get hard, we know exactly why we're doing it. We know what we, we chose this path and we know why we're on it and we're going to be able to keep doing that because of you know the fact that we started with our why so i know a lot of people um get into trading for example just because you want to be rich and like that was me i heard that i could make a lot of money very quickly so that's why i wanted to do it but the reason i always bring this up is because yeah people want to be rich like lots of people want more money it's just a fact and there's nothing wrong with that like people go oh i shouldn't be you know just wanting more money there's nothing wrong with wanting more money but why do you want more money and so this is the, the next question, you know, why do you want to have more money? And usually there's, there's a reason for it. Very few people go just because, just because I want it. I mean, some people do, but, you know, I want it because I want to travel. You know, I want it because I want to pay for my friends to come visit me. I want it because I want to be able to go home and, and see my family. You know, I want it because I want a really big house. Like if that's the case, then that, that's fine too. And then the questions that proceed will be, will be like, well, why do you want a really big house? You know, what is it that, that, that makes you want this really big house? Well, I want a big house because I want to have a big family. Okay, so there we go. So you're, you're family orientated. So it's not so much about wanting to be rich. Being rich is the byproduct of wanting something else. And um, the reason I go down this path is because, yeah, while most of us go into trading because we wanted to be really wealthy or we wanted to have X, Y, Z, there's reasons deeper than just wanting to be rich or wanting to have XYZ, 
Okay. And this is where that seven levels deep um, exercise comes from. And like I said, I heard first of this from Dean Graziosi and I can't remember where he heard it from, but it's um, really important to, the idea here is that once you get to the seventh level, you really got into that core reason, that, that value, that belief that drives you in most things that you do. Um, and so I created this image and it's a little half done. Um, but for those of you that are, can't visually see this it's basically um a bullseye but with like 10 levels and so on the very outer there's um three six nine twelve fifteen eighteen twenty one so there's like 42 watts written around in a circle and then there'll be the equivalent sort of hows and then the, then the next level in is like 42 whys and then there's roughly 24 Ys and then 12 Ys and six Ys and three Ys and two Ys and one Y. And um, the go goal here is that you, you have the what you want on the outside and we're sort of moving in from a really, really deep core level. So if we, what we want to try and do is figure out kind of why we're doing anything in life that we're doing. And as you get deeper and deeper, you'll realize that that why drives a certain few different levels. So you can, it's probably pretty hard to explain without the visual, but if you have a certain what in your life, you'll go down, how are you going to do that? Why are you doing that? And it sort of breaks down um, further and further and further you go into the real core reason of why you're doing something. And that same reason can be the reason that you do seven or eight different things in your life. You know, could be the reason that you, like for me, one of my level whys could be the reason that I'm traveling, the reason that I'm in Germany, the reason that I'm still doing what I'm doing, the reason that I'm working the job that I'm working and the reason that, I have the daily routine that I have could all be based from the same why as we get to a further level. So is this making sense to people? Like, please chuck in the chat. If you're understanding how important it is to not only get your why first, but also to dive a little bit deeper and understand why the, these deep levels are, are important. We've got some yeses in the chat. Because it can be a little bit confusing. And I understand that explaining, explaining it verbally can also be a bit difficult, but I think once we start to get into some exercises, which we'll try and do, um, like I said, Wednesday and, uh, and Friday, then you'll actually see it being put into action. So what I would suggest for most people to do, if you really don't understand your, even if you do think you know your why, I would go and do these things again, because you'll notice that as you grow over time, your why has change and that's completely okay as well. Your values, your priorities all change. Like I can tell you my priorities and values have changed dramatically over this year from um, being a free-spirited traveler bouncing around the world to being a father. Your, your priorities change quickly and, and very, very um, strongly. So obviously that's a drastic change, but even with smaller changes, as you grow, as you develop, as, as you get more knowledge, as you shift in like an understanding of money and finance and you know, different beliefs and values, then it'll change and it could be gradual. You might not even realize that the ex exercise you, if you do the seven levels deep, maybe six months, a year ago, but you're on a journey of personal growth and development every single day, you do it again, 12 months down the track and you're like, man, why did I even want that to be like, I can't even believe that's what drove me. Now I'm in such a different place. You know, now I'm in such a different mindset and, and my goals and ambitions are so vastly different from what they were before that doing this again has given me a different perspective on like on my beliefs. And I use the term values and beliefs because I feel that the whys we have deep down are really, really based. And most of the time you'll find they come back to like childhood levels um, of family relations or of wants or desires that have actually been a substantial part of our lives for a lot of what we've done. You know, you might just, you might think it's just a simple why, but when you start to break down and get to the deeper levels, you'll be like, oh, this is something that like from when I was a young kid that I wish I had in my family situation, or I wish my mom and dad did this for me. So now I want to do that for someone else or X, Y, Z. Like it, it can be different from everyone, but the core beliefs and the subconscious beliefs we have and values, and you may have heard me speak about this before as well, that our deep subconscious, like the cause and values we have have come from, you know, early, early childhood. And it's trying to pull back those layers to understand those. And so just like we're doing here, like 
pull back those levels and really understand the why that drives you and what those core beliefs and values are. And once we know that, once we understand ourselves, once we have the core values and beliefs we have and know why we're doing something, then we can shoot off in any other path. So like if we're on this, you know, we're coming down to this level, but you keep going further and you know this level why, like you're real deep, then you can go off in any direction and change the trajectory of your life in any which way you choose because you know why you're doing things and you know what drives you. So that's a little bit about why I believe knowing your why is important. Um, it's a little bit convoluted. And like I said, once we do the exercises, I believe that will really help us get into um, a little bit more of an understanding. But also once we've, you know, once you know your why, then you can use that on the tough days. Like, like I said, with Mike's example, if you're having a really shitty day or something's just not feeling right and you're like, oh man, I, I got to quit this. Like, this is too hard for me. But you actually know your real core why, then you're able to go, hang on, hang on. No, quitting is not an option because I want those hugs for my grandkids. You know, if, if I don't do this, then what? I got to go back to a job. And I got to go work X amount of hours and won't have any of the time. And then I won't be able to see them and I won't be able to travel to them and I won't get those hugs. Like if the hugs is the reason why we're doing something, then it's easy to pick back up when you're having the shit days and you will have shit days. Like there is no doubt about it. You can't think that you're going to create these goals and dreams without tough days. Like Mark Manson said, you know, choose your shit sandwich. Everyone's going to have struggles and troubles and tough times and sad times on any journey they're going on. But the difference is knowing that, understanding that and learning how to work with that and fighting it and giving up and being really miserable when it happens. So there's two, two ways you can sort of go about that. And if you know your why, you know what you, you've chosen your shit sandwich and you really understand who you are, then those tough days can become easy or well, not so much easy, but they're very manageable because you, you have a game plan and you know, the reasons you're doing what you're doing. Does anyone have any questions on that? We've got just five minutes left here. Um, these calls will be a bit shorter now that I'm starting a bit later because our trading still starts at the same time. But I really just wanted to kind of give a frontal explanation of why I believe the why is so important and um, why it's important to go those deeper levels and to really, you know, figure out what it is at our core level. So keeping this in mind, I would suggest doing a little bit of self-evaluation um, over the next couple of days. For anyone that wants to go really deep into this and do it like live, like I said, reach out to me and I think it would benefit yourself and benefit a lot of other people seeing it done live. Um, and then look into what your goals are. Like, why did you start trading? Like really try and try and do the exercise on your own. And if, if you do want to do it live, maybe try to do it on your own and see if we get to the same sort of level. See if we get to that same core value or if there's something else that you might find that, you know, one goes one way. Like when you do this on your own, you, um, you go down one path, but then when someone else does it and gives you a slightly different perspective, like, Oh, I didn't even think about it like that. And then you just go down this whole other tunnel of um, concepts and ideas. So Looking forward to digging deeper into this. Yes, I like this. Thank you. It's really great. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, cool. So it seems like everyone's got an understanding of that. It seems like there are, like I said, a couple of people still looking forward to doing this. I recommend going and doing this on your own and then, you know, bringing it to the group maybe tomorrow and seeing what you shared and seeing if you kind of got to that fifth, sixth, seventh level and um, it was what you're expecting or what you weren't. When you're doing it on your own, it can be hard to put a different perspective on it because, you know, you're kind of expecting the response but when you do it with someone else they, they can ask you any question that goes oh well i didn't think about it like that so do it on your own see how you go and then yeah become open-minded and willing to give it a crack maybe with the group on uh, wednesday or friday every time i think through these levels i get a bit deeper yeah even just thinking through them on a, on a regular basis is going to do that for you exactly amy i love that so i'd actually go through it and start documenting the change yeah and that's the, that's the key right there, documenting and tracking. Document and track, like track your actions, track everything you've been doing. That's why the journal, trading journal that um, I believe Aaron got is a great step forward, you know. Track it, you can self-analyze and go over things. So, all right, everybody. Well, 
couple of minutes to go. Trading is trading calls are starting in a couple of minutes. I'll be on with you trading this afternoon, as I believe Teresa is on a flight. So you'll be trading with me for our traders. For those of you who aren't traders or listening on the podcast, I hope you had a fantastic weekend. We will see you tomorrow. But for now, if there's no more questions, I will love you and leave you. And uh, we shall speak again tomorrow. Have a wonderful day, everyone. Thanks, Thanks Jake. Jake. I'm, I am grateful for the changes that I have been making in the last two weeks with you. So thank you very much. No, you're very welcome. I, I love to hear it. You know, feedback like that, knowing that people are actually getting things away from taking things out of this and making changes and growing and developing uh, gives me all the more power to keep going with these things and to keep sharing. So thank you for your feedback. You're welcome. All right. I'll see you on the trading call, everyone. Bye.